One year ago, we all witnessed something that we're unlikely to ever see again. We saw a monstrous pike measuring 127 centimeters being caught in the final hours of Fly vs. Jerk 10. That fish won the whole competition for Team Catch With Care. But what got them here won't take them there. I just can't believe that it has been over a decade since the first edition of Fly vs. Jerk. Back then it was just a friendly competition with two fishermen fishing in the same boat. But since then we have stepped up the game. This season we have no less than eight teams fighting for the victory and they are willing to do anything in their power to get a shot of being crowned the winner of Fly vs. Jerk 11. We would also like to remind you that as usual we have Polskin Napisi, Deutsch Undertitel, Shoto Tue Fansa, and Ruski Subtitel. And they can be activated here on YouTube. Before we get started, let's quickly go through the rules. The eight teams are free to go wherever they want in Europe, but they need to fish a certain type of water each day. Day one will be Archipelago Day, and then all teams must fish in brackish water. The second day is lake day, and then all the teams must fish in any freshwater lake of their choice. The last day is river day, and of course, then all teams must fish in rivers. This means that we will see different waters and different tactics each day, and this will put some heavy pressure on the teams to have a strong game plan. There will be three points given out every day. One big fish point for the heaviest pike caught, one number point for the highest number of fish caught, and one top five point for the five longest pike caught. For this point, we have a minimum length of 75 centimeters to minimize the handling of small fish. With these three points at stake each day, every single pike might be the difference between winning Fly vs. Jerk 11 or not. The only change in this year's Fly vs. Jerk is that we decided to make three episodes each day which means that there will be nine thrilling episodes hitting YouTube before we can crown the champion of Fly vs. Jörg 11. Talking about crowning the winners, on the 20th of March we will have a pre-screening of the final episode at the Sport Fishing Fair in Stockholm. All the teams will be there together with us from Canal Grades and together with you we will all find out the winners of Fly vs. Jörg 11. And believe me, it's going to be a crazy final and you do not want to miss the chance to be there. When going to the sport fishing fair, also make sure to bring your broken old soft baits because we're going to continue our recycling project where we will take your old lures and turn them into new baits. It works like this, you bring your old lures to our booth and recycle them with us and as a reward we will give you fish coins that can be used as cash in our e-commerce, canorgados.se. We will then take all these broken old lures, ship them to our lure factory in Sri Lanka and we will turn them into new lures. This way we can use the same resource one more time instead of just throwing it away. For more information, check out the link in the upper right corner. All right, so that was everything new about this format for this year. But now I think it's time for us to leave it to the eight teams competing in Fly vs. Jerk 11. Yeah, we are super excited about this season and I hope you are too. C'est parti! C'est parti! Alright everyone, it's time to meet the teams. Let's start with the winners from last year. You guessed right, CWC fishing team with Stefan Trumstedt and Pierre Monnieret are ready for another battle. This is their 8th time competing in Fly vs Jörg and it all started back in Fly vs Jörg 3 when Truman met Niklas Bauer for the first time. Not only have they won the whole thing no less than four times, they also managed to catch the biggest pike ever in Fly vs Jörg in the last minute of the previous season. With a crazy 127cm long and 13.88 kilo northern pike. These guys need no further introduction, let's hear what they're up to this year. 
Hello everyone, uh, it's Team CVC, back for Flyvisor Jack 11, uh, Truman and Pierre, and uh, we are so pumped up this year. Uh, so far it's a super start because we have our boat, uh, we don't break anything, uh, so we have some sleep, and uh, we have our real talent this year, so it's going to be cool. And we, we are on the first area now, uh, condition looks quite good, so hopefully, hopefully we catch a lot of fish today, we'll see, but uh, yeah, so but that's, far, that's our plan yeah. to, to have lots of fish and uh, fun and hopefully some big ones and, and yeah. uh, everything feels so good and different if you if we compare to the start last year. Yeah, it was total so disaster. we are uh, so pumped up. Be ready for some action. Yeah. Do that. Okay, let's do this, Pierre. Next up is the only team who's been in all 11 seasons of Fly vs. Jerk, Team Vision. This year once again represented by Niklas Bauer and Marcus Tandefelt, who have given the lure teams a good fight in the last few seasons and ended up on a second place last year. Let's cut the shit chat and head over to the fly guys who are located on the border between Sweden and Finland. Hi guys and welcome back to Fly vs. Shirt. And Team Vision is ready to kick some rubber ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, at least we hope so, because we have done a lot of pre-fishing. And uh, we fished like five different archipelago places. Yep. And we ended up in, in the, the same place as last year. And we, we haven't fished this since last year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the conditions looks really good. Yeah, it's perfect. We've been scouting so many river mouths along the Swedish side and the Finnish side, and it's been super slow. Yeah. So uh, we really believe in this place. Uh, it's going to be something going for big fish. Yeah, see you see. Yeah. Take up the. Wanna fish all the way up to. Here? Yep. So we have to beat that. This we year. have to beat it. And uh, I've tied some uh, uh, Mira's mouse imitations <laughs> so we can uh, kick some uh, lure ass. Though we actually have seven uh, rubber teams to beat. You know, guys, it only counts on fly. Hakapele! Nichervi! Nichervi! The third team is Ilex Gunky with Frederick Julian and Manuel Firestam who are fighting in Fly vs. Jörg for the second time together. Fred is probably well known to most of you already, but he's a super skilled tournament angler from France. He is traveling and fishing all over Europe and doesn't really have a home water, which makes him extremely good to adapt to new situations and read new waters. His teammate, Manuel Firenstam, is a hardcore pike angler from Sweden who is in it for the big fish and his favorite style of fishing is to go for a few bites with chances to catch a monster. Together, they have now traveled to the archipelago in the middle of Sweden. Hey guys, Flyvesso Jack 11, second year. My name is uh, Fredrik Julian. And um, my name is Manuel Fyrstam. And we fish for Team Ilex Ganki. So this year I've been uh, letting aside a little bit of perch fishing, uh, despite the fact that uh, I've been in uh, Perth Pro again, but uh, the last month I've been only training for pike, and I'm really exciting, excited because uh, uh, I've been trying many, many waters, and I think we we get some uh, nice, nice spots to, to show you, and also yeah, some nice way of catching pike. This year I've been uh, spending a lot of time in the middle of Sweden, traveling around, searching for new waters just for the flyweight jerk. So uh, we have some really nice spots. Let's yeah. make it. Yeah. <laughs> so today our plan is to go for numbers and hopefully Three. top five. Yeah. And you're gonna see we're gonna fish in their home garden. Yeah. <laughs> People very often are afraid of crowded places with many uh, many houses, and that's where we bring you this time. If you're only here for the big pike, the next team is for you. Team Leech with Alexander Lexean and Markus Malishevski, who have found themselves in a good spot far up north in Sweden. This is their third time in Fly vs. Jörg and during their first season, they were extremely close to win the trophy with several big pike caught. Last season didn't go as planned for the big fish duo, but this year they have done a solid research and lots of training. Hey everyone, uh, this is Team Leech. I'm Markus Malishevski and this is Alexander Lexen. And uh, we are in the northern part of Sweden on the east coast. And the tactics, like always, we're only going for one big fish every day. 
So that's our tactic. So everyone go big or go home. Let's move to team number five. Björn Boström and Jakob Hank representing team Jigga.nu. Not only do they run one of Sweden's leading tackle shops together, they are also one of the most dangerous teams on the Swedish fishing competition scene with several prestigious titles. This is their second time competing in Fly vs Jerk and last time they got qualified by winning the Swedish championships in pike fishing. Sportfish Masters. In other words, these gentlemen know how to fish. Just like last year, they have decided to fish the northern parts of Sweden. Hey guys, we're team Jigar.nu. My name is Jacob. My name is Bjorn. We're back one more year to, yeah. to, to get revenge. <laughs> to win it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been looking forward with this for one year now. Yeah. You know, yeah. as soon as it ended last year, I said, okay, I can't look for it. I just want to go back. Yeah. We're in the northern part of Sweden, in the archipelago. It's uh, kind of cold. Today will be fun. That's what we're hoping we, for. We hope we, so. <laughs> uh, we're aiming to get as many pikes as possible, and <clears throat> we will see how many we will have to compete against. I know one thing for sure is that Alex and Marcus will not be going for numbers today. Mm -hmm. Uh, it will be an interesting day and we hope to get over 100 uh, pikes today. It's like pike every 5-6 minutes. Yeah. For 10 hours straight. I know. Yeah. That's why it's going to be so much fun. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Across the other side of the Baltic Sea, on the Finnish side, we find Per Schernström and Victor Emblom representing Team Ray Marine. They ended up on a third place in the previous season of Fly vs Jerk after crushing the other teams on the lake day. Just like Jigardot knew, they are very experienced when it comes to competitions and they also did great in the Swedish championships the same year as Jigar won. After that, they got picked up by Ray Marine and the rest is history. Let's meet them. Hello guys, my name is Per. And my name is Victor Emblom. And we are team Ray Marine and we fished our first time in Fly vs Jerk last year. Yes. And this is our second year and we are super excited. So loaded. It's gonna be fun. Uh, we learned a lot of stuff from last year and we picked all the, the good bits uh, to this year. So we have a great and I think solid game plan. Yeah. Today we are in the Finnish archipelago and we have been here for some days. Yeah, three and, days. Yeah, three days and have do, done some pre-fishing and have caught a lot of uh, pike. Yeah. And some uh, decent one as well. Come on, Victor. <laughs> Boom! Down in southern Sweden, in the famous archipelago of Blekinge, we can find the first newcomers of this season. The brothers Tony and Andreas Andersson representing Team Mouse Fishing. Tony and Andreas are two of Sweden's best tournament anglers and they haven't only won the Sportfish Masters once. They did so twice and that's also how they qualified for a spot in Fly vs Jerk. Time to meet them for the first time. Hello everybody, Mouse Fishing here. Uh, my name is Andreas and this is my brother Tony Andersson. We are right now in the harbor because um, we have very strong wind outside. Our Tactics for the day is to fish in the strong wind in a big base. Uh, in a very shallow area. Yeah. So it's very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of rocks and weeds. It's gonna be nice. <laughs> We're gonna find some big pikes. Let's the game begin. Last team out for these seasons are also new to this format, but they have a well-deserved legend status in the Swedish sport fishing world. Let us introduce Baramord and Lasse Litzel fishing under the name Team Silver Suzuki. Bara founded the legendary tackle shop Bara Sportfiske back in 1989 and has run it ever since, while also being one of the most well-known and skilled fishing guides in Sweden. His fishing partner, Lasse Litzel, is working for the boat insurance company Atlantica. He got his first boat at the age of 6 and has fished for pike ever since. He has competed in pike fishing for 25 years and been working with boats for 20 years. If something would happen with their boat engine, they'll know how to fix it. 
They have actually decided to fish in mine and Pontus home waters, the beautiful archipelago of Åland Islands between Sweden and Finland, and it'll be very interesting to see how they do. Let's meet them. Hi everyone, my name is Lasse Itzel, representing Team Silver and Suzuki. First time in five versus Jörk. It's gonna be real fun, real tough of course, many good teams. Hi everyone, my name is Bera Mård. I started Bera sport fishing in Vallalavägen, Stockholm in 1989, and I'm also working like a fishing guide nowadays. I'm fishing around 200 days on a year, and uh, on this competition we should try to catch a lot of pikes. That's it. These are all the eight teams fighting in this season of Fly vs Jörg. Soon it's 8 o'clock in the morning and the teams will be allowed to make their first cast and are then allowed to fish for 10 hours. I hope you are excited as we are for this season. And before the competition starts, make sure to like the video and write in the comments which team you think will win. Time's up, let the fight begin. Okay, Stefan, 8 o'clock. Now it's time start to take them. It's time! Okay. Let's do it. Let's do this. Let's go. Hello. Let's do Let's this. Go. Bara, first cast. Let's do this. Yeah. So first cast, fly with the jerk 11. Let's go. Let's go. We can do this. Yeah. Let's go. This is the first cast of the day. And let's catch the biggest one. Now we're on the first spot and first cast. Yep. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop doing that. It's pretty chilly morning. Yeah. Five degrees in well, the we air. We were here last year, it was 17 degrees in the water. Yeah, now it's only eight. Now it's eight. But it actually might be that they move in even shallower. Yeah, in the last year, the first fish, it was nine kilo fish. Let's see if we can beat that one. Miss? Yeah. I just have uh, my first bite for the day. So, hopefully, there is more there. Was a quite good bite. Small fish, I guess, but today it doesn't matter the size. We, we need a lot of pike, of course. If we can get a nice one, it would be nice. And on this area, it's possible as well to get nice fish. But now any size is, is good. We, we need a lot of pike today. Oh, I missed one. Oof. That was a good strike again. Look, my hands. I'm shaking. <laughs> For a strike. <laughs> but, uh, we make it because uh, last time we catch. I oh, missed it. I'm not sure what it was. Yes! Need a touch. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> First fish. <laughs> Woohoo! Don't forget to click. Yeah, there. Beautiful. Yeah. On the crawfish. So, not enough for the minimum size, but first fish of the day. Let's click it. That's where it all started. I saw it coming. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, on those small pockets, we start with a fairly small bait. And I fish with the over jig, it's a rubber jig with a mixed skirt, bucktail and a silicone skirt and a little bit of flashing effect with the blade under and I fish with a crow as a trailer. It's flapping a lot. So there's a lot of movement in the, in the bait. I don't drop it so much. I make it swim, it's a swim jig. Very convenient, never get stuck. And when you have followers, you can drop it on the bottom and then grab it on the bottom. You need to catch one every five minutes. It's been five minutes now and no. So we have to get two in the next five minutes. I saw it. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. Wait, 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 wait. Need a touch. No. Think so? No. Could be 75. Good job, Jacob. Yeah. Quick measurement. Don't. 74. Okay. First one. The teams have been fishing for seven minutes and so far only two pike have been caught. Five out of the eight teams are going for the number point, but there's only one team that's going for the big fish point. The plan is set totally. 
I'm going to be so frustrated if we don't catch the big one, but that's fishing. Either we catch zero, like Alex said, or we get the big one. It would be fun if we get the small one the first time. <laughs> oh, there's, there go, it's going to be a big, bigger one here. Fan, det är nästan strömmande det här. Ja, eller? Jo. Är det det? Jag tror det. Ja, det är jävla. Ja, lite. Oh. Okej. Okay. Det var lite. Oh. It was a small fish. First small pike. It's not the one we are here for. Let's measure it. 74. The pike took on a gator gum 22 centimeters. And this was the... <laughs> I remember that from last year, but this time no pike inside. As you remember from last season, Team Leach had a nightmare scenario on the last day when they almost lost a big pike due to the net almost falling into the water. Even though I must say it was quite entertaining for us to watch, let's hope Marcus doesn't repeat that mistake this year. Yeah, fish. Good. Oh, first bike of today. Nice color, nice marking. Picture Junior, of course. This bait, when you talk about catching number, is, is a killing machine for to catch a lot of fish. So we're going to stay on this for a while and see what happens. But we need to find group of fish. So uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's only the first one. So it's good to get the bite. Pull back. We need lots of pike, 90 pike today. That's the, the the target for today, so a lot of work now. Let's do it! The teams all have different lures, styles of fishing and tactics they prefer. Let's listen in on some teams and see what they have to say. Today we're really gonna fish ultra shallow place, ultra small place. We are not going to have many choice than uh, using Texas hook, uh, very shallow swimming uh, bait. That's really bass fishing bring to pike fishing. Here uh, we'll be fishing two different lures. We have a jerk bait uh, from CVC, bass jerk, really good one. And I'm fishing a small swim bait. We need to fish really fast since we have like this much to fish on. Then the grass come, uh, will make it impossible to actually fish it. Uh, and we want the hooks. We don't want to have a hide hook or, or, or something that prevents us from hooking the fish. Yeah, we are kind of outer archipelago and it's crystal clear water, lots of rocks, lots of structure. For the moment, the water is really clear, super clear, crystal clear. So it's tough. We have lots of bite already, but they, they just hit the lure and they are so afraid just now. We start with different bait, but, but so far we have most contact on the picture Junior. It's a super bait and, and uh, Hopefully we're gonna trick some fish even if it's quite hard condition for the moment. Here is 4.3 meters, 16 and a half degrees in the water. Not too much wind, but no fish so far, but we should find them. Good, Victor. You're on fire. That's, uh, that's my second pike. We're gonna catch a lot of them, but we're hoping for a big one as well. And it's, it's a really nice area with shallow area with a lot of grass and uh, it's quite big so it hold, holds a lot of pikes. And we're gonna start here and spend uh, yeah, at least one, two hours in here. Oh, small, small, small pike after. <laughs> On the pre-fishing we didn't have any followers and today we, we have had three of them already. Everything is good. As, except uh, from the wind. The teams have been fishing for 15 minutes so far. Team Ray Marine are in the lead with two pike, followed by Team Jiggar, Team Ilex Gonki and Team CWC, who've all caught one pike each. We wouldn't call it a super slow start, but all the teams have had a cold night and almost no wind, which seems to have affected the fishing. Yeah. Missed. Dunkel. Dunkel? Yeah. Yeah, while you fish like this, I, I try to fish a little bit more outside. Oh, fish again. Oh, did you miss it? Yeah. No. 
That's the third I missed. They're not really taking it. No. I saw. <sighs> Both of us or double header for team Jigar.nu, but the net is stuck, which could make them lose valuable fish. No bueno. Okay, please, please, please. They're fighting like big ones, but look at this fat belly. Now, if you look, it's similar like me, short and stocky. <laughs> ah, it's 75. Is it? How can this be 75? That's more like you, like a straw. No. You, your new name, I know it. <laughs> no, I'll don't. show you. Don't go there. 79. 79. Good job. Two approved fish for the top five gives Jakob and Björn 154 centimeters on the scoreboard. It won't be enough, but it's a start. This chaos with the net. Yeah, that was not, not us. <laughs> That's not us. We don't do this. We're back on track with two minutes to spare. It's been 18 minutes and it's four fish in the boat. And two approved fish, actually. A couple of hundred miles south of Team Jigar.nu, we find Team Ilex Gunky, and they don't want to be any worse. Yeah, 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 uh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, Leader. Little touch. Yeah. Okay. They're getting bigger. Yeah. Oh. We have many contact now. And uh, we saw many, we spooked many, we missed many. Yeah. And now we finally start to hook them. So just be patient. They are there. Yes! Oh, oh I have one too. Oh. Need a touch. Oh, that's a nice one. Maybe the first. Uh, yeah. Need a touch. Yeah, thank you. Get the net for this one. And yes. <laughs> awesome, Double Frederick. Fix. I think that's a bigger one around there. This one is damaged. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, fast one. Good back. Oh, we are short, but it's a 72. It's a 72. Straight back. Yeah. Ooh, we were damaged. That's four fish now. Yeah. So 45 minutes. Not a single take, or actually one perch up and one perch lost. So. I'm gonna go um, really bright, magic head, like a kicker 2.0. Fish is really slow. So we're fishing uh, basically a river mouth here. It's a quite big area, or actually it's a massive area. Times we've been here before, we've had a lot, a lot of bait fish. We actually have a deep hole, which is usually packed with bait fish. Like pre-fishing and competition fishing here, we had a, like five fish over a meter. Uh, so they are here somewhere. We just have to kind of figure out where they are. You see that? Dark clouds, it's gonna be heavy rain again. I think I do like this. I missed one. Again. Come on, take again. Fish hole. Well done, Bara. First pike of the day. Yeah, I have the leader. First I miss two and then I take one. Nice one, a little over one kilo. Team Mouse are fishing far out in the archipelago on a spot that's not at all protected from the strong winds. They're having a hard time fishing efficiently and precise. It's very hard to stand up here <laughs> in the front of the boat. <laughs> it's, it's crazy wind. I use a, a mouse 70 centimeters with uh, some weight the front and a uh, spoon in the back of the back hook. It's give uh, very much uh, vibration in the in the water. I had a follow. Alright. Oh. The first hour has soon passed and the teams can fish for another 10 minutes before they must write down their score in the papers. After almost one hour of searching, Team Ilex Gunke have finally found the activity they want. Yeah. Yes. Oh, this is a nice one. Oh, 
this is oh net it because it's going to lose <laughs> <laughs> awesome um, man that's the size we want yeah. today oh i love you yes fat one yeah good nice how long 80 80 80 yes man Ooh. that's a start 80 fish Love you. Bye bye. Oh, yeah. Now we oh. talk. <laughs> this is also nice. This is a 75. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, massive. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is our second fish for the top five I think it's uh, took on the spinner bait again 89 centimeter solid fish uh, yeah good one <laughs> Oof. keep getting bigger oh come on Whoa. nice yes man. <laughs> we're rolling yeah a very good end of the first hour for Team Alex Gunke. It's time for the teams to write down their result. It's nine o'clock, first hour done. Jacob, yeah. first hour is up. Already? Yeah. If we have a look at the scoreboard, we can see that Team Ray Marine are currently holding the number point with 14 fish caught. Not a single fish has been scaled yet, but Alex Gunke have caught the biggest one, estimated to around four kilos. Last but not least, the top 5 point is also held by Fred and Manuel with 330 centimeters, but the day has just started and a lot will change. So the total of 4 fish, top 5, so 330 centimeters. Not bad for one hour. No. Let's go. Now we take one more 80 fish, then we start to change. Then we go for bigger, bigger, bigger. Niklas, what do you think? Are we the only team who's still on the zero pike? Yeah, I think we're only, I think we're the only team who hasn't caught anything. Yeah, the first hour was quite kind of slow for us, and, and of course we have uh, some strikes and so on, but they just hit the lures. And hopefully now when the cloud is coming, um, we're gonna have more better strikes and, and so on. And we try to to fish a little bit deeper here. 2.53 meters, you have lots of structure around here with weeds and so on and see if we can find some fish here. So we are going to change spot now. Uh, the sun has come out and uh, the weather is a little bit warmer. That's why we didn't want to go to the, our first spot. So now we are going to the main spot that we're going to fish almost the whole day. And that area is, you don't get many fish, but when you get, it's often like a meter plus uh, pike from like seven to 11 kilo. Uh, so that's our main goal today, to fish that spot uh, for some hours and then if we don't get one we go away for a, a while and then go go back. So at least six, seven hours today we're going to fish that spot. So we moved out, we have been fishing this uh, shallow area where we had some uh, nice fish last year. Uh, the water temperature is very cold. So we think they might have, it's usually not that, but we think they might have gone a little bit further out in the archipelago where it's a little bit warmer. But we have a deep hole here that's three meters. It's actually full of bait fish. I mean, bait is what they eat, so we're going to spend like an hour in this hole probably, scouting it out with different flies and see if we can get a, any fish from that one before we hit the uh, archipelago. Whoa. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> good, good. Good size? Yeah, let's net it. I think it might be 75. So. It wasn't 75, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty small one. Well, it's our first pike, so Ooh. let's net it. <laughs> Jesus, that yes. took a long time, man. <laughs> oh, good job, man. <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> it might be one of the smallest pike I've ever measured, but... Or, <laughs> or netted, but... <laughs> It's a beautiful one, and it's the first. I don't think it's 75, so we don't have to measure it, but it's, it's number one. Congrats on that first fish, Team Vision. 
If we head over to Team Raymarine, we can see that they have put in the fifth gear and are catching one pike after another. Yes, Fischer! Nice, Victor! Touch the leader! A pig Chad Junior. So I like it. It's a great color. It's a good competition bait. Nice! Fischer. Just caught a nice or nicer pike, a little bit bigger. We think it's over 75, so we're gonna measure it. I hold here and you hold. I take the tail. 80. 80. Exactly. Nice looking pike. First over 75. I like. I switched to from the York bait to, to spotted bullet. First cast, second cast, third cast, boom! Team Leech are moving to another spot they talked about and since there are so many rocks in the water, they need to drive slowly. Can you give me uh, another pair of sunglasses? Yeah, sure. Remember last year? Last year I had one box, but this year we're going for the big fish, so I took two boxes with me. You give me the pilot's ones. This one, Avatar? Yeah. And I always have my glasses somewhere here, next to the heart. K6 Titanium, the new model for 2020. We need to change sunglasses because the sun is coming out and with the yellow lens it's too bright. So we took a darker, darker lens to see better and be more comfortable. So now we are on the new spot. Big area with uh, around 1.2, 1 to 1.5 me meters. Uh, it's a lot of big bait fish like bream and eid. And if you go more shallow, then you can find a smaller pike. But if we are going to succeed, we're going to succeed here. Uh, because now the report was rain, but the sun is up. And, and that can be really good because it's really cold. It's really strange conditions, no fish here. We've been training here and we've had so much pikes, nearly a strike every cast for hours. Now nothing, so we're a little bit confused. But uh, do you have any plans? When we're training here, we catch a lot of pikes. Ah, oh, there, strike, there fish on. One. Good. Oh, ah. Good, Lasse. Come on. It's a nice one. It's always 75. Okay, let's go. No. Don't go in the... <laughs> it's ah. a strong one. No. Yeah. Ooh, good. good. High five. Perfect. That's it. <laughs> First pike, we hope it's 75. Oh no. <laughs> Was it close? No, 72, 71. Well, we have to train on that one. Okay, bye bye fishy fishy. When it comes to what I think will be needed today, you know, since this is archipelago, I would say that if you have 460, you will, you will take this. Yeah. You need at least 100 fish for the numbers, and you need an, I would say, nine kilo plus. No, I think eight kilos enough. You think so? Yeah. Well, the sun just came up here, so I'm, I'm switching to motor oil instead. Really good color when the sun is up. I wonder what gunk is. We met them, you know, last year. Fortunately, we did not meet them again at the ramp. What do you think gunk is going for? Numbers? They could. They could, yeah. Yeah. Yes! Oh, I got you! Leader touch! Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we go for numbers and it's go doing well now. Thank you for playing. Really fun to fish with a small bait like this, over jig. And today we found out that uh, this uh, blue, silver and uh, white color seems to get more strike immediately. Uh, I was fishing more dark color earlier on the same uh, 
on the same bait, on a rubber jig like this, and uh, I didn't get the same result. So now I'm catching up with numbers against the spinner bait by using more white color. Yes! 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 Number five, top five-ish. <laughs> Man! Ah, oh, we're doing well. They are there, the big one are there. 84. 84. 85, 84. It's an 85 fish. Yep. Frederick decides to scale the fish and it weighs in on 4.7 kilos, which makes it the heaviest fish so far in the competition. They are increasing on the top five score as well. So now, Manuel, yeah. 415, that are That's top really nice. Length. Not bad for less than two hours. No? <laughs> yes! <laughs> really nice. And it was fish number 17? Yeah. I think, yeah. Did you check this spot? It's crazy. We fish in between so many houses. So probably everyone can see those fish when they, when they come and uh, barbecue in the summer. But it looks like no one cares. They're all for us. Yeah. <laughs> Time is ticking and the teams have soon fished for two hours. The weather changed for Team Raymarine, which made them pick up the pace in the numbers game. Again? Yeah. Good work. 21. 21? Yeah. You said 20 to me and now it's 22. 22. We find the pike. Maybe a talon down here. Nice. Good. <laughs> <laughs> no, 72, so back she goes. The wind has been picking up a little bit and directly we get some pike. It's now 10 o'clock and the teams can fish for one more hour before it's time for the first phone report of Fly vs Jerk 11, when the teams will get to know the result of the other teams. Yeah, second report, first day. We have uh, five pike on this uh, second hour. So we have nine pike for the first two hours. So the super uh, exciting 10 o'clock report for Team Vision. You can take away that zero at least. One fish, total number one. Okay, Jacob, the second hour is done. Yeah. But there is still a lot of time left, so no stress yet. We need to increase our big fish, top five and big fish uh, point. So our plan is to go to another spot right now and try out. So I'm changing to the uh, imitation of a Mio's mouse here. See if we can get some action to that. It's just pushing a lot of water. Let's we'll see if it works. Green and gold with a gold dragon tail. Can't go wrong with that one. Goes for the tail on the stinger. This is to the XL dragon tails. Bye bye. So the whole key here is like, found a special foam and then I coated it with Gulf uh, Flexman. So it's coated, so it becomes just a little bit sink, a little bit more heavy. And then it's tied on a bower pike rig, stacked bucktail and some flash. Yeah, even if it's just low, it still can be that in the last 10 minutes we get one big one and then it's a good day. Yep. Come on now, Barra, we have to get this number point. Yeah. Ah, oh, fish on! Wow! Good! It's a clicker! Yeah, lead it. No, it's not 75. Ooh. No, it's small. This one is really small. Oh, <laughs> we just take take the talon down. I am not I just I'm take driven. a leader. Hold on. Ali, 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 Alex, come on, quit it in there. Yes, good job. Ooh. I take it, my yeah. rod. I believe it's over 80 
centimeters. It's okay. There we go. Nice bike. Very, very nice bike. 82. Oh, uh, maybe more. Alex always minimized them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Hold on. 87. Look at the bike. It was really nice catch on this one. Very strong. Nice colorings. This was the second longest fish caught so far in this competition, and it's always good for the confidence to catch a fish like that. We should take this one. Yeah. yeah. Good. Go good, back good. on Picture Junior, I think. I, I do one more cast here. Good. Oh, it's a little bit better. Okay, so we have quite nothing for uh, one hour. It was super slow, and now in 10 minutes, we get uh, two, a couple of fish, five, six, I don't know, and double strike. And this uh, really good strike, I think that's close to Meta Pike, so uh, it's cool. Nice fish. We're going to measure the fish to see how long it is and unhook the fish first. They are super marking those fish here. It's quite skinny, but uh, long fish. What the color on that fish. Look at the marking, Stefan. Yeah. Really nice. He has something real there on the fin, but some like infection or something, but still pretty fish. So I see how long it is. I think it's 90 something. I have to be 96 centimeters. Yes. Nice fish. Pull back. Really cool color on that one. 96 centimeters. Nice one. Pull back. Super. Cool. That's a good pike, 96. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you get couple like this, can yeah. be good. CWC fishing team strikes again. They scale the fish and it weighs 4.7 kilos, exactly the same weight as Elex Gunky's top fish. Yes, now we have a change spot because the first spot didn't give any fish at all. This is a big bay. Usually it's very much, much pike in this area. <laughs> first pike of the day. It was not heavy, it was a small one. So it's okay. Often when fishing for pike in Blekinge, if you find one fish, you'll find one more. Soon thereafter, Andreas hooks a better fish. First fish of the competition for Team Mouse, a beautiful pike of 3.8 kilos and 85 centimeters. Nice fish, congratulations and welcome to Fly vs Jörk. I think it's good to stop a little bit. Double strike. Oh, fish! You know, the last fish I lost was better? quite heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really good band on that one. I click, huh? We, we have a really good spot here. It's, it's fish nearly every cast now. It's super fun and they start to bite quite good now. And I also switched to spotted bullet. It's, it's the key now. Fish yeah. the water. Fish. Good, good, good. I need a uh, ply. It's still small, but we need them all. Uh, of course. Okay. Come on, baby. Easy, baby. Easy. They want. They are crazy at the boat. Bye, bye. This color is unbelievable. Something about this. They love it. Click. <sighs> Feels good to to have some pike now. Because we have one hour with like nothing, nothing. Drifting, no contact. So you get a little bit nervous, you know, when you drift like for 30 minutes and no contact. It's now 10 to 11 and it's soon time for the first phone call. The teams must call each other and reveal their results of the first day. So the time, the time fly really fast now. We, we find uh, the good spot. Hopefully it's more there because now it's, it's getting slow again. Yeah, the, the day passed so fast and we really need to get them. We need more fish, Stefan. Around 100 fish, I think, we need to, to, to find. You know, it's so exciting and, and we keep fighting and uh, oof, it's so fun pike fishing. So, Pierre, let's take them, okay? Soon report time, the first three hours. Not too bad, yeah. I think. Eh? No, no, it's really nice. Yeah. 20 fish, a solid top five for the, for the start. No huge one, but uh, Good to size. be honest, uh, in three hours, yeah, I will, uh, I will have time for this resort in three hours. 
Uh, well, at least I know that we are having a really hard time. Uh, so uh, I hope uh, most of the other teams have the same, but I don't believe in that. I think the guys who's going for numbers in the right spot should have 20 to 40 fish already. The first report is going to be really interesting. I think some team probably had to find the key today, but it's not us so far. We'll see what happens. Maybe this is 75. No. That was good. There are three points. Basketball. <laughs> oh, it's hard to say which team who have the big fish, but maybe maybe vision. Oh! oh! Come on. Nice. Yes. <laughs> How big is it? Maybe over 80. Okay. 81. Good work. Yeah. We need bigger fish, but it's a nice fish. I think that uh, the number of points is uh, up for grabs. It's we don't have any enough, but no. still we have lots and lots of, of time. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what the other guys are having. Okay, this is the last cast, and then it's the first report. Should be really interesting to see what the other guys have done. It's 11 o'clock and it's time for the first phone report. Okay guys, hi, this is Niklas Bauer from Team Vision. We have the total number of two fish and we haven't weighed any of them. So that's the result. This is Team Silver and Suzuki. We have uh, the number of 13 pikes. The heaviest is 2.2 kilos and uh, nothing over 75 centimeters. Hey guys, this is Jigar.nu. The number total of 14 fish, biggest fish 3.2 and total top 5 length 154. This is mouse fishing. We have one fish 85 centimeters, 3.8 kilos. Hello, uh, this is Alex from uh, Team Leech. We have five fish. The biggest fish is 4 kilo. At top 5 is 243 centimeters. Okay, this is Frederick from Team Gun Kirex. So we have a total number of 20 fish, big fish 4.7 kilo, and top 5 425 centimeters. Hello, it's Pierre from uh, Team CVC. We had the number of 21 pike, top fish 4.7, top 5 174. Hello, it's Per from Team Ray Marine. We have total amount of 27 pikes, biggest 3 kilo, and total length of 161 centimeter. Okay. Tight lines, guys. Good luck, guys. Bye. Good luck. Bye bye. Bye bye. Have fun. Victor, we have the number points. We have the number. <laughs> oh, it's so unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, that yes. was nice. <laughs> yes. I'm the game for everything. Yeah. Okay, so it's... Uh, okay. I think that's okay report for us. So nobody's doing super good with uh, size. But this means that there is a couple that are going to drop off the numbers game. No. I, I don't I think so. I think so. I don't think so. I th we're five teams for the numbers. That was not what I was expected. Jigar, only 14 fish. Yeah, but you know what it is. You're on the right spot and... Yeah, but so, still, we, still are, we, we are in the game. Yeah, of course, of course we are in the we game. We are still in the game and I was so afraid the last two, the first two hours we, we didn't catch a ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a couple of bites and we still the are end. in the game. We are still in the game for the big fish. That's the good part. 100%. It was 100 like a <laughs> knife in the stomach if, uh, if someone said like 12 kilo and boom. <laughs> wow. We thought that we were far away back, but it seems that none really have really good fishing. The top numbers is 27, Team Ray Marine, and I mean, there's not any really big fish as well, so we have a good chance to, to come back this. Yeah, we must find them. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we keep on fighting. But that's fun. This is so fun. The, the, the competition is alive. 
Oh, I hate this. We do what we're gonna do. Yeah, good, good, good. A uh, small hug. Ladies and gentlemen, the score after three hours of fishing is that Team Raymarine are holding the number point with 27 pike, followed by CWC Fishing Team and Ilex Gunky. The big fish point is held by both CWC Fishing Team and Ilex Gunky, who both have a top fish of 4.7 kilos. In case of a draw of any of the points, both teams will get one point each. Finally, the top 5 point is also held by Frederick and Manuel with a total length of 425 cm on their 5 longest fish. The other teams aren't even close, but there are still 7 hours of fishing to change the scoreboard. Thank you so much for watching the first episode of Fly vs Jerk 11. We hope you enjoyed it and if so, feel free to like the video. We would love to hear your thoughts about the first episode down in the comments and make sure to subscribe so you won't miss the next one. Make sure to visit us at the Swedish Sport Fishing Fair on March the 20th to 22nd in Stockholm where we will have a pre-screening of the final episode. And we all remember who that one went down last year. All the teams will be there and watch the final together with you. Not even the teams know the result of the competition, so it will be extremely exciting. This is a tradition we do every year and is always a great event. We will also have our own Canal Gratis booth where we will have a lure recycling station where you can turn your trash into cash. Bring your old and broken soft plastic lures and do something good for the environment while at the same time getting some value back. Thanks again so much for watching. We'll be back next week with the second episode of Fly vs Jerk 11. Thank you for watching episode 1 on Flybiz Jerk 11. This is going to be a cracking uh, episode uh, next time and we're going to take them all. Take them all. <laughs> that was not See you. good one. <laughs>